In this video series, we will calculate quantities using Revit model. Please subscribe our channel for future updates. In our previous video, we made bar bending schedule for beams. Now we will make the bar bending schedule of slabs. Go to view ribbon. Click on schedule quantities button. Select structural rebar from the list of categories. Rename this table as slab bar bending schedule. Press OK. Now we will select from the available fields. First of all, select host category. Bar diameter. Type. Bar length. Quantity. Total bar length. Reinforcement volume. Shape. Image. Now we will select lengths A, B, and G. Select comments and then press OK. This table shows all the rebars used in the project. First of all, let's apply filter on host category. Select host category. Now in filter, select floor. Press OK. This is slab bar bending details. Now we'll sort the table on type parameter. Click on sorting. Select type field. Select bar length as second field. Select quantity as third field. Now uncheck itemize every instance and check on grand totals. Option. Now this table shows different bar length used in slab. Now we will insert shape image. In image parameter, click on the three dots. In the right side of cell. Now we will insert bar shapes. The link of standard bar shapes as per ACI code have been attached in the description below. Now we will change this reinforcement volume to steel weight. Click on Fields at Properties Browser. We will make a custom field to calculate steel weight. Click on this Add Calculated Parameter. Name it Steel in Pounds. Now change the discipline to structural. Type to reinforcement volume. Now in formula click on three dots. To select reinforcement volume field. We will multiply this volume with density of steel. Click on steel field and move it up next to reinforcement volume. Now open formatting tab. Select reinforcement volume. Change field formatting to calculate totals. Similarly, change field formatting of steel. Now we will change field format. Uncheck use project setting. Change unit symbol to none. Now press OK. Now we will place our bar bending schedule for slabs on the sheet. Just drag and drop this schedule from the project browser. We will increase the size of shape column. Now our slab bar bending schedule is ready. This column shows bar length. Here is the total steel in pounds. I hope you have enjoyed this video. We have more Revit learning videos at our channel. What do you think about the video? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.